you yeah, welcome everyone back to another F Zero episode. So I uh, we played this a lot on um, F Z V S online multiplayer. By the way, again, if you guys want to try it out, join the F Zero online Discord. And um, so this is parallel dimension. I forgot. I think there was this was Lucky Sylvian's hack, run hack, uh, but. There's a slight adjustment in here, and that, that is Classic Mode 1.7. So we uh, added Classic Mode 1.7 into this. Which means that we have opposite drifting. Um, the cars have been balanced. Uh, the, by the way, this is not the original mod's intention, obviously. The original mod's intention is just all the palette changes, uh, tracks, new tracks. Uh, he himself didn't play around with the uh, colors, right? I mean, colors. Uh, with the uh, car stats, right? Uh, so, yeah, let me just quickly tell you what's different in Classic Mode. Really quick. Obviously, many already know, and they're like, dude, we already know what Classic Mode is. Okay. Wild Goose, highest top speed, which is usually Fire Stingray. Fire Stingray has Blue Falcon's top speed. Blue Falcon has Wild Goose's top speed, and Golden Fox has its own uh, uh, top speed, a little bit buff, so he can manage to, you know, uh, rival Blue Falcon. So, in this case, all cars, machines can actually rival each other, but uh, if, if you have really good players playing each other, you'd see Fire Stingray and Wild Goose really good competitors uh, against each other and golden fox and blue falcon obviously and it depends on which tracks obviously and uh, if you have a track with a lot of corners golden fox especially in this mod is like really good uh so yeah okay we'll go with night leak as an expert and we'll put that in episodes each league on one episode now uh, let's go and as always, I have to go with my boy Wild Goose. So this is a old version of Classic Mode, if I remember correctly. Unless, if it's the update, that means speeds have been a little bit adjusted, which means uh, 80 plus speed or something, 100 plus speed, uh, because obviously the original uh, speeds of these these cars were really slow. So you know we adjusted them a little bit. All right. So, I have a s boost here, however, because I want to find a straight line where I can show you guys the uh, actual speed, but I don't want to waste it, but I kind of have to right now, because I already have two. Oh shit, the AI is, okay, let me see what the uh, top speed is. Nope, the top speed are uh, regular top speeds. So 478, which is from Fire Stingray usually, is uh, applied on Wild Goose. You want to ask for what reason? Well, obviously Wild Goose has the highest speed loss on a uh, turn speed loss. Or if you just let go, speed loss. Um, so it's like on five while the uh, blue falcon is on three and golden fox is also on three i think the fire stingray has zero i think one or zero it's, it's ridiculous you, you, you almost lose no speed with a uh, fire stingray so obviously since uh, wild goose loses a lot of speed when you let go of acceleration you thought you know it's only fair to give him the highest top speed and fire stingray somehow even with uh, wild goose's top speed manages to beat all the cars so we had to drop it further down to blue falcon's top speed so it, it uh, so other cars can actually match it you know in in other matches uh don't uh, get it wrong a good fire stingray player will still you know wreck the others but we still haven't seen uh you know other than me in a couple uh you know i'm, I'm talking about speedrunners really good speedrunners that tested these out as in wild goose and Blue Falcon especially, uh, if they can match Fire Stingray. 
All right, we got big blue. Okay. By the way, usually I'm doing these on a stream, but people know I'm gone during the weeks. Um, and I'm only streaming on weekends, so I thought I'm just recording these. So I can upload them during the week so you guys have actually something to watch until the next stream, right? Also, dude, my new camera position. Oh my god, I'm still trying to get used to it. I still... I, I, like, I'm finally looking at the right uh, position. But the thing is, my camera used to be here on the left. And I was always, I was always looking over there. Now I'm looking here, but like the screens are so bright. I've, I don't know if I'm actually looking into the camera, you know. <laughs> ah, fuck. He, did, he wouldn't move. That was maybe a bad turn. Also, of course, Classic Mod removes the giant ship that uh, refills your health. It adds the all the other GBA and Ezra GXX refill uh, pits, which means no, which means insta refill pits. That's what I'm trying to say here. So, what do I want to say? something about with oh yeah i wonder how long a single league takes probably 10 to 20 minutes because when i did uh grand prix runs back in the day um took me about 40 minutes 50 minutes to finish all three leagues oh my god what the <laughs> what the fuck okay uh before you know um yeah, before I ended all uh, leagues, it's like 15, 50 minutes, I think, if I remember correctly. Alright, Port Town 1. By the way, design. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Aside from a couple edges, you know, need, need to smoothen out the edges. Even though some of them are smooth, looks really well. But I saw some, see, see that corner? Nah, I'm joking, L Lucky is probably like, dude, you're just nitpicking. I might be. Okay, nice colors, by the way. Nice colors. They also changed the uh, background, you know, the horizon. There's a lot of horizon editing lately. People like Leandro, etc., are working on. Oh, shit. I wish I could showcase my controller so you guys could actually see what I meant with uh, opposite drifting. But and I'm pl I'm actually playing with a GameCube controller, which is really neat. I have to say, this GameCube controller is really neat for uh, Super Nintendo plays. Maybe there are some games which it's not good at, but I mean, even for games like Super Metroid, I actually liked it. You know, took me a while to get used to it, but it's awesome, amazing. Yeah, get to talk about um how comfortable i am with this controller right now it's not the original gamecube controller by the way it's the uh, switch version of gamecube controller so uh i did i i finally was able to do horizontal shine sparking with uh in super metroid thanks to this actually i wasn't able to do that with the uh, xbox one controller which kind of, uh, if you want to do, if you want to quick kill Dragon and such with, uh, you know, uh, horizontal shine sparking into him whenever he swoops, it's an actual re really fast kill. Oh yeah, Deathwind, let's go. Deathwind, all purple, looks really poisonous. And I know, maybe if like Lucky and those are watching right now, they're probably like, dude, you played this, and all I want to play. Yes, but like we play this rarely, and I hardly played this alone on my own, by the way. Always online multiplayer. So I, I'm getting the Grand Prix feeling here a little bit with the AI machines competing against the AI machines. 
so it's a little bit of a different feeling here. And I, I'm like, I, I feel like I forgot all of this for some weird reason. It's like I never played these tracks. Maybe because we also always played it on Ace Mod. I don't know. Maybe that's why. Because it was so fast, so I, I actually forgot to play these. Hmm. Okay. Ah, Wild Goose slows down so brutally, dude. What the heck? Welp. Oh, come on! Fucking turbo snails, dude. Oh, shit. This is the final lap. I think Classic Mod might have boosted up the uh, AIs a little bit too, because I don't think they were that... They were like this in Expert. I thought they really sucked at Expert, but maybe not. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. Okay. And there we go. Death went one. I think we did tr three tracks right now, right? So it should only be two left. Or turn two. Wait, no. It is the fifth track. Track. Port on two, so we actually did four. But this is the last one. Okay. I'm actually surprised the Blue Falcon didn't attack me. Normally he does. Nice. Ah, the choice of color is really interesting. Gives a weird new feeling. The, the different shape of blue and you know the red here i think that's red should be red together with the uh, horizon at what was uh was it dawn or fall i think it was ah, i forgot what it was let's just say orange dude he should have been dead that turbo snail clearly fell down that track Yeah, classic mod doesn't make me rage as much, you know, I wonder why. Yeah, that orange, that turbo snail just fucking, uh, yeah, glitches through or whatever, slides through that tile, which is usually death, if you jump into it. Oh shit. Uh, final lap. Here we go. I should definitely try more try out more uh, F0 hacks, ROM hacks. And I said I, I will do that. I will also review them. Uh, and we would put them on F0 online at some point. But since I'm playing it by my own, you know, I don't think F0 online should be about me, you know. Obviously. Uh, the channel, so I want like other people check it out, review it, and so um, it wouldn't make s much sense if if you just see me in it, in that channel. So it's like it's almost like I'm having two channels, the same channel, you know, same person, but yeah. And that was Parallel Dimension Night League on Expert. We'll continue on. What was the next one? Queen League? I think the next one was Queen League. Queen League, uh, and then we have King League. That should be it. Uh, and let's see how long that took. Well, you'll see a 15 minutes on the video, but I think in total 20, 30 minutes. Probably 30 minutes. I would say 30 minutes for each league. But uh, anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the content, please subscribe so you will get notified. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.